heard that women in America make 79 cents for every dollar a white man makes. But that 79 cents number is a national average. The real wage gap is more than just your annual salary. To start, the average man makes $10,169 more than your average woman each year in the U.S., but that varies by location, race, and industry. In California and Washington, D.C., for example, the gap is smaller than the average at just 11 cents, while in Louisiana, the gap widens to 31 cents. A woman's race also plays an important part. Latina women make just 53 cents for every dollar a white man makes, and for Asian American women, that number is 85 cents. That's just base salary. If you take into account 401k contributions, debt repayments, and raises, the gap increases dramatically and has ripple effects on every aspect of a woman's financial life. Let's meet a man and a woman who start working in the same job at the same time, right after college. If this man is making $35,000 to start, then the woman's starting salary is $27,650, or 21% less. Over the course of their careers, the gap widens with every raise and promotion the man gets. After 40 years of working, the man has earned about $500,000 more in wages alone. Let's take this simplified example. What if our man took his extra $10,169 per year and started investing? Assuming 6% annualized returns, he'd earn around $50,000 more just from interest alone after 10 years. And after 40 years, he'd retire with around $2 million more. To build an equivalent retirement nest egg, women must save $1.25 for every $1 a man saves, on average. And that's with them starting out on equal footing. What if they both had the average amount of student loan debt? The man would have to pay off about $18,880 to start, while the woman is saddled with about $21,619 in outstanding loans. So not only are women starting out with more debt, but they're earning less to pay it off. While men pay off 13% of their debt a year, women pay off just 10%. Three years after graduating, women have paid off less than a third of their debt, while men have wiped away around 40% of it. The effects of more years of investing and less debt to pay, while making 21% more every year, add up to a huge nest egg for the man. Then there's Social Security. As women contribute 79% of what a male worker would, and because Social Security makes up a larger portion of a woman's retirement income, women end up with around 56% of what a man does during retirement, on average. And these numbers don't even account for the woman taking time off to have kids, change careers, or go back to school. So that 21 cents adds up to a lot more. In fact, if the wage gap were evened out, the average working woman would have enough money for 14 more months of childcare or could pay off her student loan debt in just under three years. 